Freeman Street, Grimsby, home of Freeman Street Market. Known by locals as the heart of Freeman Street, this market is still going strong and providing a service to the local community. Over this series, we take a look at some of the lives of the people who rely on this market to provide themselves with an income for themselves and their families. It's just everyday folk doing what they do best. This is Freeman Street Market. Freeman Street Market, Grimsby, 6am. Whilst many of us are tucked up in a warm bed, the market traders begin their day, and this tradition has been taking place in Grimsby since 1873. When it comes to fish, Dave's your man, and he's no strangers to fish or early mornings. I pass six, up at five, down the fish docks for six. Fish, well, Friday's is fish day, isn't it, for most people, although we do well on, you know, Tuesdays is very good as well. This is Rick, another one of Freeman Street Market's characters. Get up at quarter past three, leave the house, leave Boston about quarter to four. Rick owns Lovelace Flowers of Boston, but there's something about Freeman Street Market that keeps him coming back. It's been in the family. Family thing. My uncle had it before us. We've grown up since we was about started on the market since I was about eight and nine, going with my uncle. Just continued. Well, we get all sorts of people come. We get some plenty of good characters. Now, for those of you who know Freeman Street Market, Tony owns Fruit World, and you could say it's right at the centre of the market. Originally, the stall started in around about 1926 with my uncle's family, Tommy Turner. Tony's another familiar face, not just on the market, but also around the town. Then basically in the 70s, late 70s, my father took over because my uncle Billy then went to make billiard tables and snooker tables, Turner's billiards. And then now I joined my father back in 1980. You may be wondering how a man called Dave comes to be owning and running Fred's Fish. So Dave, where is Fred? Fred's dead, I'm afraid. So, I didn't know Fred. I've only had the business since August. 50 year old, you know, if I don't do something now. Got, got my family involved as well. I've got my son, who's the director in the business as well. Got my wife, who's a director in the business as well. I've got my daughter doing my book work. A lot of character on the market, I feel. So whilst we leave Dave on Fred's fish setting up for the day, we catch up with Rick, who's still unloading. So, what did Rick do before Flowers? I had a tool shop for 10 years, and then moved into the market flower business, which my uncle had uh, left behind. Well, so different people, I'll get a lot, we get a lot of uh, foreign people on the markets now. Like, there's one thing about the foreigners, because they get a lot of bad press, they do support markets, because that's what they obviously have back home. You know, when I started, there was only a couple of supermarkets in the town, and the market was buzzing. It certainly wouldn't have been like this today. There would have been a lot more activity going on, and even customers on the market. But as the time's gone on through the 80s and into the 90s, supermarkets started creeping in. It's been the hub of Grimsby, and Grimsby's grown around it. So, Dave, what's the key to selling good fish? You have to have a keen eye, and you have to get your, yourself in the mix on an auction to try and get the best. There's a lot of people out there, the same as me, always want the best. So sometimes it can be difficult. Then again, life's difficult, isn't it? So. Yeah. What's that motto, Rick? My motto is that any fool can sell them on Mother's Day, because everybody's going to buy them no matter what anyway. It's the, it's the week after. The week, I always say it's the week after Mother's Week, you find out if you're any good at selling flowers. Because everybody's filled up. 
So from flowers, fish and Rick's motto of the day, it's back over to Tony. What's that date again, Tony? What's the date today? Is it the... No, no, it's on my blue sheet. Oh, yeah, of course it is, yeah. The 23rd already. Nicknames are not all common on Freeman Street Market, so what's yours, Rick? The Boston Strangler. How are you, anyway? As day breaks on Freeman Street, the market comes to life. But for Dave, when things are a little quiet, he's got his friend Greg. I go see Greg in there sometimes when I get a bit fed up. He's always good for a chat. All right, Greg. He doesn't say like, see, a bit camera shy, are you, Greggy boy? Got to save up for my next holiday again, darling. Next year, yeah? There's one thing with markets, you always get your regulars. Bless you. There you go, my son. Do you want, what do you want to... Well, I'll do your tenner for everything there for your day. Two things to bear in mind on a market. You keep your fellow traders happy and you'll never go far wrong. You get some pound coins. Thanks, Thanks sweetheart. And your customers. Another piece like that. Yeah, How's that? So, what's the most important aspect of a flower stall? It's the buying side of it you've got to get right, because to be able to buy it right, to sell it right. Because at the end of the day, we're competing against the the, the Alsters and the, they're our competitors now. Turn it up. Flash it. Have a good weekend, my mate. We've got some great customers, honestly. I love it. You know, we've got some real nice diversity of customers. But at uh, the end of the day, you like to think you give them a good deal, they'll come back again, don't they? Do you know what I mean? That's what it's all about, isn't it? At the end of the day. Come on, Tony, show us some of those selling techniques. Yeah, don't miss them look. Some little treats for you today. A big pot of plums for the pan. Yeah, look, don't miss them grapes. Try them before you buy them. Look, a pound to go. You pick them, we'll wrap them. There you go. Anything else for you? Yeah, well, that's all right. That'll do you, ducks. All right. Market life is a way of life. And one thing with Tony is that he keeps going. You could say it's in his blood. I do, in the summer we work every day, I do outside markets. Um, so in the winter we, I'll just stay with this one and then in March I start Cleethorpe's Market outside in the Market Square and then I do the Oakland's car boot on a Sunday. Uh, I've just finished Scunthorpe Market, I've been there 20 years but I've just packed it in because it's, it's declined so it's time to move on. Dave heads over the road for his weekly delivery of fish to see the lovely ladies in the local calf. This is Haddock. It's important you keep hold of your bread and butter in the fish game. Sonia and Shelley in the calf. Morning, ladies. Yeah, every Friday they have the, the fish for the old days. This is a big one. As well as working hard as a market trader, it's also important to bear in mind you still need an interest. Big Newcastle man, this lad. Oh. Yeah, a... Well, they used to be when we were playing. What the? Well, it just leads to Newcastle. We went at it many times, have we? No. Hey? Okay. I, I, I remember when I was a kid when they used to win everything. <laughs> 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 I've supported Leeds United since I was nine years old, and I'm now 55. Beat Bournemouth the other night. Leeds. Yeah, top of the league. They, they, yeah, here on, mate. And then we lose to Blackpool, I think. But we will be back. Two seasons, my prediction. Back in the Premier. Remember that one, folks. Leeds back in the Premiership. So let's head back over to Tony, who's reflecting on customers past and present. Yeah, people that's been coming here since I've started sort of thing and and of course I've saved uh, people whose children they used to bring on in the 80s and now are now family members themselves they've got their own family and kids and I've, I served them I see generations and the sad side of things of course we, we lose people you know as time goes on and there's been some real characters during my time and people that I'll never forget um, and yeah, I've had some good fun. As well as sharing his motto with us, he's also quite handy for tips as well. Just always cut them at an angle, stand them in boiling water, 
10 seconds before you take them out of cello, then put them in cold water with that flower feed oh. and it'll keep them nice and straight. Super Mario now, look. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Tune pet cheap entertainment, innit? We'll be on the. Come on, don't be shy. Now you've started it. Busy up till about one o'clock on, on average. And then it, it, it'll, go, it'll go a bit quiet after one o'clock, to be honest with you. Especially this time of year. Interaction is top of the list when you're a market trader. There you go. I'll just get that lady here, fish cakes. There you go, Shell. We religiously will not work Sunday. Don't believe in Sunday working at all. No, I don't want to do Sundays. Don't want to do Sundays. No. Church down on Sunday. <laughs> So, as the day draws to a close, it doesn't stop there for the Freeman Street Market traders. We're missing a key ingredient, which is people. And, you know, we, we all do our best. We've all got the right product, certainly the right price. And, but we need people. You know, it's, it's all this online shopping and supermarket shopping. Yeah, it's convenient. You can park up, get everything. But how boring. Coming up after the break on This Is Freeman Street Market, Dave gets a nice surprise. He spoke. Well, my dad used to sleep overnight on the market when it was an open market on a Friday into Saturday. No matter what the weather was, they had to sleep on a store. And we find out the best form of advertising on a market. Word of mouth. All our business is word of mouth. I've got to sign up there, local people, serving local people, and that's what it is. You know, I, I see people and I know more. Just a regular morning for Dave on his fish stall, until now. Who said the art of communication was dead? I spoke. <laughs> He's in a mood. Eddie, how do you fancy being on the telly? You are. Hey, go on, Eddie. Hmm, maybe not. What's with Eddie on telly? This time here, it's uh, mainly in the morning trade, but like I say, today the weather's lovely. But February it's notorious for all the bills come in. You know, your gas, electric, your water bills, all that sort of thing. And it it uh, wipes them out a little bit. So February, we're, we're so used to it being a bit of a quieter month. And as we said before, who said the art of communication is dead? Certainly not Dave. Yes, darling. You certainly can. Is there 10 in there? I think there's 10 in there, darling. What's that, darling? Out out. Three, four pound, darling. Yep. Got a bag? Are you pointing or am I getting? How about you point? That one. Oh, this one. 280 there, bud. Or is it, darling? Cheers, my man. How does Freeman Street Market compare to how it used to be? Well, they've tidied it up. It's a lot more modern, a lot more lighter, a lot more friendlier. I love it here. I do. Got really good. I also I've got really nice customers, and I, I do like the band figure here and that. It's, it's nice. Thank you very much. Cheers, honey. Thank you. And one thing you don't want to be as a trader is too relaxed. So there we go. Well, years ago, I mean, there was about 15 of us, so, oh yeah, I mean, but it, it just it adds competition. You need competition on a market because it, it, if it ends up as being one of each store, it, it gets relaxed and you can charge what you want and there's no feeling where if you've got somebody in an opponent, you make sure you, yours is bigger and better and cheaper or, or you, you just, it, gives you the driving force to do it. It's not a trick question. Mm -hmm. Heart, space, Hearts. diamonds and clocks, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Choose two of them. Tell me what you, which two you choose. Hearts and clubs. Right, choose one of those. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, Ace and king. Right, choose one of those. Ace. Leaves you the king, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's important that you remember that. So what else are you supposed to be remembering? The heart. So what card have you got? 
Help her out, Dave. What card have you got? What did you just say? King, uh, oh. King of... King so, of art. Right. So look under the pier. How's that? That's clever, isn't it? Nice pair there, Dave. Events outside Freeman Street Market also affect trade. Like when the road closed, that hurt this place. When they did all this remake down here, we was just picking up, to be honest with you, and that really did knock us. Well, what I'm doing at the moment, I'll start getting ready as much as I can for tomorrow morning. Um, then we'll have a deliveries tomorrow morning just to top everything up. Uh, going away wise, we just put like the outer stuff away. Fortunately, it's all lockable so we can lock the stall up. We don't, years ago, we had to either sleep overnight, when, before my time, I must say. I mean, to, to, to earn a fortune, you, you want to be in London, obviously, because you get more more money for your product, but... So Dave, do your employees ever wind you up? She does. Like a clock. <laughs> well, my dad used to sleep overnight on the market when it was an open market, on a Friday into Saturday. No matter what the weather was, they had to sleep on a stall. How times have changed on this modern day market. Fresh, vibrant, and most of all, busy. Well, Pete, I've known for years and years, he's, he's always been in a little bit involved with the market one way or another, and he just likes to keep his hand in sort of thing. He comes and helps us set up, and he's, he's a good old lad. He's, uh, I have to tell him to slow down, like I said. As soon as he gets a card from the Queen, he'll have to have his hours cut a bit. So, there is a uh, cheers, my up. The market has thousands of people passing through its doors every single week. And long may it continue, as it's the hub of the area and has been serving the community well for a very long time. And why not have a bite to eat while you're there? One thing with Freeman Street Market, you'll always find what you want. So what's the best form of advertising when working on a market? Word of mouth. All our business is word of mouth. Social media? Too much rubbish involved in it. Fine. OK, Rick, that clears that one up. So it's back to Dave. What does he like to do on his day off? I'm going to get this Sunday off. That's it. But no. Uh. Yeah, we go out. For, yeah, that's it. Basically, on a Sunday, we go out for lunch. Me and the wife, and the family, you know. And that's it. I mean, the difference from this is 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 the hours, obviously. I mean, when I was just filleting, I was I could be home at dinner time. I could be home at one o'clock, two o'clock, you know. Even if you do get time to have a bit of downtime, you've still got to keep those orders up to date. And making it look good is also what you've got to do. First sort of like year, so I'm pretty new to this sort of like side of things. Not new to the fish game, but this side of things I am. Whether it's fish, flowers or veg. Well, I've got a sign up there, local people, saving local people, and that's what it is. You know, I, I see people and I know them all majority by name. I know the kids' names. Uh, and it's, like I said to you before, we watch the kids grow up and then they have a family and they bring the kid. We're pro probably looking for a new generation of customers now. Not being, you know, sadly a lot of our, our old diehard regulars have literally passed on. You know, the last few years we've lost a lot of really good customers. It's a lot, totally different for me, this. So I do enjoy it, you know what I mean? I do enjoy it, I do enjoy meeting the people, regulars and that, like, you know, what come down. 
So it's, it's just, but it's just different. I mean, from just filleting all the time, you know what I mean? Basically, what I've done all my life. The easiest thing to do is charge too much for stuff. And that's what everybody does. I buy at what and I want to sell at what I want to sell. I'm not too fussed. I mean, um, it's, I, I like to think I do my buying right. I buy a lot of stuff and I try and pump it out as cheap as I can because these boys aren't my competition. Not, we're, we're one big family on here, actually. There's no, there's, there's no aggression or anything like that. It's a supermarket, so I have to target. They're my people. I have to get coming. I have to target them to, and be in competition with them. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. That's Freeman Street for you, innit? You know, bit of banter, bit of this, bit of that. It's all good. That's the good thing about markets. The centre of the community where you can make new friends, share conversations and bring back memories whilst doing what you do best. Over the course of this series, we've met Dave, Tony and Rick, who are just a small part of what makes Freeman Street Market what it is. Freeman Street Market has served the people of Great Grimsby for over a century with some of Lincolnshire's finest, freshly harvested produce. It's like one big family on Freeman Street Market where everyone works together to achieve one thing, happy customers. And happy customers will keep coming back. Super Mario now, look. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Early mornings, long days, hard work and commitment is what you need to succeed on the market. Add this with fresh flowers, fish, confectionery and great people and you have a recipe for success. It's the people what make the market what it is, whether it's the traders, the customers, or the people who run it. It'll never be short of life and laughter. I spoke. <laughs> so next time, ask yourself, have you given it a try?